So since the end of last season, I picked up everything and I, I moved to Cincinnati for Sarah. I've been talking to another inmate. Are you, are you kidding me? No. I met Sarah the same way that I've met Destiny. I was actually writing to both of them at the same time. And then when things didn't work out with Destiny, I just kind of reached out to Sarah again and we started talking and I think we had even a stronger bond after the fact. I came out here with basically just got rid of everything I had, loaded up my car and just basically just started over. I posted an ad on a prison pen pal website and John answered it. I wasn't really that interested at first, but he was so persistent. He finally, <laughs> he finally got, got me to answer. <laughs> The thing that sparked my interest the most about Sarah, just the way her ad read, why is she in prison? Like it really intrigued me to what she did for her charges and just everything. So I just kind of grew on her. I remember getting sick, just the anticipation, waiting for her to come out, wondering if we're gonna have that connection, if it's really gonna work. Like, did I just waste my time just coming all the way out here? Hopefully that it was gonna work out. Before today, I've never met Sean. Only phone calls and emails, that's it. So we yeah, have super, super nerve wracking. Cause not only, Am I getting out for the first time in six years, but I'm meeting someone that I fell totally, completely in love with through phone calls, which seems crazy to me even still. I have pretty much always lived in Cincinnati my whole life. I um, started using drugs at a very young age. It basically led me down the wrong path and I wind up, you know, going to prison for six years. Coming out here, taking a chance on Sarah. I feel like I gambled on love, just that it was gonna work out. In the beginning, we didn't really keep in too much contact. It was kind of off and on, but towards the end, the last few months, we wrote tons of emails to each other. He used to send me song lyrics every day. We would talk on the phone, talk about our life together and what we wanted. I would say looking back on Everything that I filmed, everything that I've done, it, it's probably how much it upset my daughter. It, it kind of really, that hit home with me. That was the one thing that, you know, kind of made me rethink a lot of things and better our relationship and, and kind of be there for her more. If I could give um, a piece of advice to an inmate returning, you know, back to real life, I would just tell them to really stay away from certain people. The environment that you're in is everything. The person that I used to be is a far cry from the person that I am now, and it's because I don't surround myself with those people. Even the strongest person, you know, peer pressure can get the best of you. The best way to support an inmate is just to be there for them, to let them know that they can open up to you, like anything that they're thinking. I try to make sure that I encourage her to do it. Like, you know, she's a good person. She made a dumb mistake. Going forward, just to support them, be there for them.